Someone asked me recently about how to make a head covering. Usually it's called a snood. And um, I had made one in a video using a pant leg because that was easy. But um, they want to know how to make it from just a piece of fabric. But before I do that, let me show you the traditional historic snood, which it's just this is a bag and it's closed on the bottom and you know you put it here and it hangs in the back and this one that's closed on the end is more like for women who have a large amount of hair and also want to wear it loose so you could have your hair loose but it could be enclosed in here and you know not get in your face and you know not look messy not blow around in the wind anyway so I had made this one and I think this this is from a pant leg and you know you, you just open it up and you put it around your head like this and I usually hold mine closed in the back see this one is open on both sides I usually hold it closed with a hair tie so in order to get the right measurement I suggest you you put on a headband and you know see the width that you that you need and then you could you know try and cut the right size fabric so here's the fabric and this looks like it was an old shirt now the main thing with the snood is it has to stretch else you know it's not going to work very well so I would use you know what they usually call a jersey knit so with this one if I didn't want it closed on one end I would just go ahead and cut this this end off but this seems to be the right size measuring it against my other one so what I would do now since it's for me I'd cut this here I'd cut this this end off just right across here and then I would sew hems on each long end so sew a hem but not close just like you know so it will look neat just fold this over and sew it either by hand or by machine I'll go to the other end, sew that over by hand or machine. And then remember this other end would be open because that's how I use mine, open on both ends, like like a sock that that has the toe part cut off. And then of course you have to sew the two long sides. And remember, take your fabric and turn it inside out so that when the sewing is finished the colorful part would be on the outside so I would just you know go along here sew this side then go along here and sew the other side and that would be it easy now me I like to put uh, decorations on these things so the top that would be here you know like it would go back this way you know I would put something on it like I usually do some some nice saying or prayer you know maybe some buttons like I have here <laughs> and you could put anything on it um, people decorate their masks so much uh, put all kinds of things on their masks even 3d items so you know we could decorate our hair coverings too so that's about it. It's pretty easy, of course. Um, you know, it usually involves a lot of experimenting, which is fun because it's so satisfying and joyful when, you know, you worked hard on something. After a while, it gets easy. But when you finally get it, when you had such a difficult time learning it, it's, it feels good. It feels very good.